Hey everybody, it's Dave. Welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to go over a couple of things. Um, primarily dealing with uh, appearance again, and we're going to start with uh, the template manager, which we kind of touched on the last time. Uh, the template manager lists all the installed templates and lets you toggle them as the default by selecting the default button, the default column here. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually install a new template. So we're going to go to the extension manager, choose file, and go to web clients. I did try and install one, but was not a new version. It was not a 3.0 version of a template. It was an older one, so we couldn't use it. But this new Afterburner 2 is a 3.0 compatible template. go. So uh, we now have the gantry library as well as the template installed and also some modules that have to do with the, uh, the different menus. So what we need to do now is go back in the extension manager and back in the template manager excuse me and select afterburner and make it the default. Alright so now when we go home we should see the new template. There we go. Alright, so our content hasn't changed, just basically the look and the way it was, uh, the way it's laid out. So now, if you click on the template, it'll bring you to the template configuration page. Okay, and you have several different features, and this is uh, specific to this particular template, the rocket theme and gantry setup, um, but most templates have some sort of configuration that allow you to edit the style and look of the template, okay, and some of the features. All right, uh, we've got the copyright feature, which we can turn on or off, and if you look back here, whoops, here's your copyright. All right, so now what you could do is I always like to give credit back to the template designers. Original template by Rocket Theme. Current design by Port City. And obviously, you can insert your own name there. Uh, system messages in the drawer is fine. Uh, Google Analytics, if you have your UA code, all you would do is enter it there. All right. Uh, menu, menu control. Um, uh, position is going to be header B and then your module cache on or off all right and so right now we'll go ahead and save that we'll look at the copyright there we go now whoops back here now in the layouts you can just you can have your uh, you can lay out your top header all of these positions by, you know, however you would like to see them broken down. All right. This will ha show you split split things up. Um, a header, I usually do three. Uh, top six is good. All right. Uh, main body positions. One is good, that'll, that'll keep you all the way across, and then your bottom positions. But we can play with those a little bit later. All right. Anybody enabled? And layout mode is responsive. All right. Overview. Here's your styles. Um, you can change your color scheme. Say if you wanted to go to a to more of a blue. All right. And your accent color. Uh, your fonts. You can change. Uh, you can toggle your logo. 
I'm going to go ahead and save and see what that looks like. All right, you can see the logo went away. Uh, if you look at the position, the top A, what I generally do in this instance, instead of using the logo, you can replace the logo in the template, but you have to replace it in each style. Uh, usually, um, what I like to do is to go back into the module manager and create a new one. And a new custom HTML. And we'll call it logo. Custom output. And we'll go ahead and insert a logo. We'll go back to our setup. And we'll put a width of 175 in there. And we'll go back to our options, positions, top. top A and we're going to hide the title and we'll make sure that its status is published click save and close and we'll refresh and there we go there's our logo in this instance the the, uh, uh, the background is dark so we we're going to want a, a lighter logo to go in there or we'll go ahead and change the actual layout Oops. of the template manager and we'll go to styles header style we'll do light we'll click save refresh well, there's our light light header uh, we can try that in a gray give us kind of like an intermediate uh, I do kind of like it white actually um, Or what we could do is gray, dark for the menu, and this is where you're kind of gonna, you kind of want to play around and see. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Categories. All right. So that's pretty much working within a template, installing the template, and working within that template. All right. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And uh, if you have any questions, you can either uh, send me a message or leave a question in the comments below. Thanks again.